Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. So today I'll be reviewing the book Wheelers. It's a dental anatomy book. So if you are a dental student entering your first year BDS or anybody interested in reading dental anatomy, this is a very good book. All departments, they recommend Wheelers only as the basic reading. So this is the book and uh, I'm having an old edition. This is the eighth edition. You can go for a newer edition. I'll mention the link for the new edition below in the description box. There is also nowadays Southeast Asia edition. So the second edition for Southeast Asia is the latest. I'll mention the link below so that you can check it. So this is the book and in this there are 16 chapters. Okay, so there are 16 chapters. Now, mine is an older version. So the images are black and white for but in the newer version, the images they are colored. So you can definitely go for this book and let's see what are the chapters. So number one, there is introduction to dental anatomy, a very important chapter in this. You have to remember very important tooth numbering system. So you'll understand tooth numbering systems we have given very nicely in this book. Then uh, dental formulae and uh, what are the uh, ridges or cusp, line angles, point angles. So very important chapter introduction to dental anatomy. And you will also understand how to do carving. So tooth carving basics are how to take measurements and all is also given in this chapter. The second is development and eruption of the teeth. Again, a very important uh, chapter for chronologies and everything. Then they have given about the primary dentition. So you need to know a little bit about the primary teeth. Then uh, forensic comparative anatomy, geometrics and form and function. This will include the forensic dentistry, comparative dental anatomy, right? Then orofacial complex, form and function. Okay. Then... Uh, the very important individual tooth uh, anatomy is given so first permanent maxillary incisors then permanent mandibular incisors then canines maxillary and mandibular then premolars right and uh, molars so all these uh, individual tooths are given in separate chapters okay so if you can see for example this is maxillary second premolar so with images all the aspects labial lingual mesial distal occlusal all aspect images and graphs are also given along with it right so okay the measurement tables are given if you can see this is the measurement table so this is how for all teeth it is given then after individual teeth okay so as i told you you have to draw graphs in your file so graphs are also given let me just show you one of them right how will you draw it on a graph paper okay then and in the newer book you will get the colored images as well then about pulp chambers and canals then dento osseous structures blood vessels and nerves tmj occlusion extremely important chapter occlusion uh, is also given very nicely in this book and then there are two appendix appendix a and appendix b in which uh, in appendix a there is review of tooth morphology so review of their color plates for all the teeth and in appendix b there are tooth traits of the permanent dentition so it's a very good book you'll get in a colored one okay so this is the colored plate that you'll get at the end right so you can definitely check out this book the link i'll mention below in the description box. Thank you.